Here we are, joined in the studio by someone with talent, Casey Donovan. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So nice to finally meet you. Oh. I've seen you on the TV, I've seen you on the stage, and now here you are live and in the flesh in the studio. Yeah, it's great to be here. Now, it's nice to have you in Adelaide. Last time I saw you, you were in the Sapphires, which is part of the Adelaide Festival, and you were fabulous. Oh, thank you. Such a great show. It was a great show, and it was such a you know an honour to be in, in the show and in the cast and you know, coming down to Adelaide and bringing the sapphires there. It was just absolutely amazing and Adelaide's quite nice. I do like it. It is a lovely place to be. Now tell me, you were about 12 or something, weren't you, when you won Australian (laughs) Idol? How old were you? I was 16. Oh, my God. I know. How long ago was that? That is now, well, it's 2012, so eight years ago now. Wow. Yeah. So much has gone on. Oh, a little bit too much for my liking. I feel about 50, but um, no, I'm turning 24 in May. So. <laughs> Was that a good thing for you, Australian Idol? Look, for me, to be quite honest, um, you know, I never actually wanted to go into Idol and my stepdad kind of gave me an ultimatum, you know, you need to do this. You're 16. You're, we're paying for you to go to a music school in, in Sydney and we really want you to make something of it and we want you to also see that it's just not me and your mother that believe in your in your talent and what you can do. So, of course, I kicked, I screamed, I slammed doors, stormed up the hallway like a baby elephant. Well, you were 16. <laughs> exactly. That's so 16-year-old <laughs> girls particularly do. <laughs> I slammed that door quite hard, yeah. but um, he knew that that was the best thing for me to do and it did lift my confidence and it, you know, opened my eyes to something that, you know, I don't think a 16-year-old should actually open their eyes to, but for me, I just... I really enjoyed it and really, you know, had the hunger for it. And for me, I just seen it as a bit of fun, you know, got my mates in and to the show and it was just great. And I never expected to win it nor even get into top 12. I was just, you know, doing it because my my stepdad wanted me to. And then he said, when when and if you get to top 30, you can then make that decision to leave. And it got to top 30 and he pulled me aside and he goes, what do you want to do, Case? I was like, I'll keep going. So... It was my choice from then on in, so he's kind of, you know, one of my biggest mentors, I guess. And to have the whole nation behind you, though, when you won, I mean, that just was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. And, you know, I still look back on that day and it's still a bit blurry for me and I just, you know, I still, I get butterflies and I can't watch it on YouTube and everyone, all the new friends I make, they're like, let's watch it on YouTube. Let's watch. I'm like, can we not? Yeah, like, you can watch go it. There. Go for gold. I'm going to go sit in the backyard. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yep. You don't want to go back there. <laughs> And from there, though, I mean, what happened? Because you did an album. I did. Did the album. Um, recorded. Part, that's all part of the contract, isn't it? And then stacks of appearances. And yep. So newspaper articles. and Lots of articles. The day after I won, I was doing media from 5.30 onwards to the afternoon, late evening. And then the day after that, I was in the studio, recorded an album in seven days um, to be stopped oh. and shopped out before Christmas. Um, after that, I did a nationwide tour and promoting Listen With Your Heart and just going around half the time not knowing where I was. Um, I remember getting back to Sydney to do Sunrise and got on stage and the cameras were rolling and I've gotten halfway through the song and thought, I can't get this note. And I just, at that point, I thought, okay, I really need to step back and really take a a breath and realise where I am and what I'm doing because you really just do get pulled from pillar to post and And you don't know where you are. Yeah, so I had my mother with me all that time, which was amazing. And, you know, looking back without, if I hadn't done all of that strenuous activity, you know, it would have kind of been a bit a bit boring, I think. So, you know, now doing it these days when you're on tour with a, a musical production or doing my big, beautiful and sexy shows, you just get, you know, you hunger for that schedule. You just want to keep going and going yeah, and going. So, um, yeah, it was a good lesson. And have you found that people have, you know, continued to enjoy your stuff since Australian Idol, that you've actually built that legion of fans that have sort of followed you through your various changes? Because there's a big difference in the life of a woman from 16 to 24. Oh, very much so. And my style. And- oh, so- <laughs> no more dreadlocks and odd colours, Converse shoes, that's for sure. But, um, no, my fans have been absolutely amazing and they've really taken the journey with me. And, you know, I take my hat off to them and every show I do, I thank them immensely for standing by me and supporting me. And along, you know, the last eight years, I've picked up some more fans. I've got a video blog happening on YouTube. I post random silly stuff on that and do little song recordings 
requests and it's it's absolutely amazing and I found that when I do the shows it's the older generation that come down and listen and really appreciate what what's going on in the stories that I tell and the songs that I sing and for me that's just absolutely amazing and I just I love getting on stage and just having a ball. That's great. And the big, beautiful and sexy show, what's it all about? What sort of music? Well, it's my originals and also music from the big, beautiful and sexy artists themselves. Um, I cover Aretha Franklin, Mama Cass, Beth Ditto. Oh. So, you know, there's not a lot of big, beautiful and sexy women in the music industry, which is a shame. So, um, yeah, I just I sing that and get to tell my story of the last eight years and from before Idol to Idol to after to now and... I can see by doing the show how much I've actually grown and it's quite sad because this is kind of the last leg of Big Beautiful and Sexy. We're going to put it on the shelf for a little while and try some new stuff out. So it's, you know, I started it in Adelaide back in 2010 and I'm finishing Finish it off. here <laughs> as well. You can go and see Casey Donovan. She is here for one night only tomorrow night, Friday the 20th of January at the Space Theatre. If you want to go along, you can book at Bass 131246. Now we're going to hear from you. You don't mind singing, do you? Oh, God, no. How exciting. <clears throat> I remember watching you in my lounge room thinking, oh, I'd love to hear her sing is when you're doing idol and now you're singing in the I studio know. how exciting it's that exciting all right this is casey donovan uh she's doing a beautiful song made famous by mama cass we love mama cass which is gorgeous and in fact this is our friend pauline connelly's funeral song oh. this one i know but you know what it's a great funeral song it is. She hasn't it's... died yet, everyone. Don't worry. Oh, gosh. No, 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 but I hope she's listening. No, but we were talking one day about funeral songs and she threw this one in. She goes, that's the one I want. And I went, that is a bloody great funeral song and I've been thinking about it the whole time. Oh, my goodness. No, well, no, one, no pressure at all. No pressure. None whatsoever. It's all right. Gosh. We're not going to have a funeral for a very long time for her. Yes. Okay, are no, we, we ready? Won't. Here we go. I think I am. This is Casey Donovan singing a great funeral song. <laughs> everyone. Shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Say nighty night and kiss me Just hold me tight and tell me while I'm alone and blue as can be Dream my little dream of me
well. I don't whistle oh, very well. Sorry, Mum and Dad. Fantastic. Casey, darling, well done. I was so nervous through that. Oh, oh. You are awesome. Oh, 131246 is the best phone number. Get on it immediately and get yourself a ticket to see the gorgeous Casey Donovan. She is in town for one night only tomorrow night, Friday the 20th of January at the Space Theatre. Ring Bass immediately. You are fantastic, oh, Casey. Thank you. I wish you all the very best of success for your long and a very illustrious career ahead of you. Thank you so much.